Sometimes it can be useful to transform your uh, data frame from a wide format to a long format. And why? Like this is because it can be more flexible um, for better analysis, especially when you're dealing with time series data. In this tutorial, um, I will be showing you how you can perform this scenario from having your data, your Pandas data frame in a wider format to getting this long format here. So let's get started. The data we'll be using is um, this dictionary here. So what we need to do is to just um, transform this data set into um, a Pandas data frame. So let's say the salary data, salary data is PD not data frame pandas dot data frame and we just gave the dictionary the candidate so why candidates um why salary data first because here we have in the name column each person like this is the name of each candidate and for each year from 2017 to 2022 we have the salary for each um candidate so let's show the data set here. okay this is our data set right so what we need to do is to transform this data set into the wide format that has been shown um, previously so how do we do that is let's declare a variable called long format so long long format data equal salary this is salary data dot melt melt id varies id varies equal the name id varies equal name and var name var name equals year and the value we want this is a value name which is going to be the name of the new column which is salary salary in kilo dollars k dollars right so this is a long format of hard data and here we have the long format of hard data sets so let's explain let's go step by step how this transformation is performed first of all to go from large to long format we need to um, use the melt function so in the net melt function the id verse is the name is the name of a column of reference this is the name of a column of reference meaning that for each observation we're going to kind of create um a exact number of row for each year here okay and var name what we are interested in is the year column because what we want is to kind of transform this from row to column and for each person let's say ida for it for ida we're going to have um a, a row for 2017 a row for 2018 a row for 2019 and all the way down to 2022 okay and it's going to be the same process for each person in the data frame for each candidate the same for Mamadou and so on uh, for Aisha as well and here the value name because when we perform this transformation a new column is going to be created so this is the name that we give to that new column okay that's the reason why we have let's say uh, we have all the names of the candidates here aisha and so on here is the transformation of this row here into column and the salary is the exact value that we are interested in so let's see that we want to check on the candidates all the observation corresponding to um to which person let's say ida okay what we do is to get the column the name column let's say equal equal 
we call we call ida okay so the goal of this statement is to get from the data set all the observation where of the observations where we have name columns equal ida and as you can see here we have from 2017 to 2022 all the values for ida which is um 85k and so on to 100k uh, let's add a new column okay let's say we add a new column it's called identifiers which is going to be the id of each candidate so this id is from one two three and four okay so this is going to be a new data set then we have our new data set with the id column so what we might want to do is to get for each candidate the corresponding id as well so what we have to do since um we first perform the analysis by fixing the name column when we add the id column we have to perform the same as well because the id kind of goes the same way with the name so what we do here is to just add id here as column of reference so if you run that by running that we can see the exact same information here ida's id is one as we can see here uh, mamadou's id is two here ismail three um here and aisha four and let's run the same process here to get all the let's this time let's take mamadou for mamadou we have this information okay for mamadou we have Mamadou's name, his ID, which is two, the years corresponding to what we got from the previous data set, and his salary. So that is all, and this is how you can transform your data from large to um, long format. So if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up and share. See you next time for the next video. Bye bye.